Hello everyone and welcome back. So uh, the question today is can women plaster? Um, just want to know everybody's thoughts and um, people in trades, different trades, in the plastering trade, um, all different trades, whatever trade you tend to be in. Um, even if you want you can chat about um, the trade you're in. Can they do the trade you're in? Can they do bricklaying? Um, what's your thoughts? So, um, if I sound a wee bit snuffly, um, it's obviously because I have hay fever. Not, not, not the cold, I'm over the cold obviously, as the weather's getting better now. Um, but I do have hay fever. So, that's the reason why I'll sound a wee bit snuffly at times. And my computer's been super slow here, so hopefully if you're live, if you're not live and you're watching this back later, um, feel free to comment and let me know all your thoughts. Um, so typically on my channel, I do get a lot of women DIYers and women that do their own painting, their own decorating, do their own bits and pieces of plastering as well. Um, and on the most, I would say, 89% of my actual views come from men. So just wanted to see, is there any girl plasters out there that haven't actually found this channel? Um, as obviously I feel that the channel will help anybody progress, especially that there is there's other plasters on the channel. Um, some of them do have their own channels, which are good channels as well, and some don't, but they also um, help out in the comment section, um, given their experiences and their opinions on tools, products, and the way to, to, to do things. Obviously, more opinions is better than, than less opinions. You can pick, pick what you want to do yourself. Um, from the opinions, you can... You know, it's the best way to do something. If you don't know, get get plenty of opinions, um, lots of thoughts, and then um, sort of split them into categories in your own mind, or even if you have a wee book of which ones you think you'd be best at and would help you at your job, and eliminate the ones that don't. But yeah, just want to know people's thoughts um, about do they think that females can plaster? Do they think they can plaster as well as men? Do the females think that they can be better than men? You know, um, I think it's a, a bit of a topic. Um, I know my opinions and obviously everybody has their own opinion on the matter. But um, my opinions on the matter from myself I think women can plaster and um, believe it or not there is a couple that I've seen sort of on Facebook and their jobs are very tidy and leave good jobs behind them. I've um, seen a couple on YouTube doing it, there's not, not many on YouTube that way doing the plastering but um, on the whole I do think men um, are more designed for harder jobs, more physical jobs, um, not being sexist, just, it's just sense, it's just the way our bodies are, are designed, um, I think men, typically, obviously not, not all men, not all women, not, not everybody's the same, there's plenty of women that are stronger than men, of course, um, but just in general, I think men are more suited to sort of heavier jobs that way. Um, I remember something in school before, um, and obviously it was a, it was based on stats, and they were based on previous previous times, and it was showing you um, men and women's life expectancy rates, and men were banned typically ten years on the average about ten years before women would die. So if a woman would live the eighty, man would die when he was seventy, and they actually said that was the due to the jobs that men were undertaking and the jobs women were taking. Um, so obviously a lot of them jobs, the harder jobs would have been 
in, in trades and stuff. Um, so obviously the further back you go in time, uh, society is different. Um, society is different now, in my opinion it is anyway. Um, women, you probably never would have seen a woman on a building say like 50, 60 years ago. Um, where now, obviously, women are more likely to be on sites, and back then, women were expected to be sort of sounds very sexist, but that's the way it was. Um, expected to be the homemakers, um, but again, let's I suppose this video is a wee bit about society as it's going now. Um, you know, uh, some families. Both men and women have to go out and get jobs. One can't stay in the home. They both actually have to go out and work to get by. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's sort of off topic. Um, but obviously, the question is, can, can women plaster? Um, just sort of want, you know, don't want no, don't want no sort of bad bad comments. Um, people can have their opinions without getting nasty with one another. So. Obviously, if you're going to leave comment, sort of think about that. Um, you don't have to try and hurt people's feelings or anything. Um, but but I don't, you know, you can word things in a way where you're not being nasty. Um, but like I was saying, I do think women can plaster. Um, I can't see why not. Um, plaster, on the most, you have to. Obviously, it is very physical. But before you get into the physical sides, you have to plan out jobs plan ahead, try and make things um, as easy as possible for yourself and um, make make life easy um, before you even get get this, the mix on, have everything planned. So that will take a lot of the physical aspect out of things. Um, Lo Andrew, yes no I do need a new camera, hundred um, percent. I will be getting a new camera. But believe it or not, this is an old video. I'm just using this for the, the backdrop of the chat, of the discussion. Um, so this is, although I think it's coming up good quality, considering it's a video, I think it was maybe three years ago this video taken. So definitely, I think it's not the camera that's causing all the buffering. I think it's just YouTube or my slow internet as well. But um, so yeah, obviously, like I've seen me doing jobs when I've had sore backs I've seen me doing them a wee bit different if, you, if you've if you got a bit of a sore back or a bit of an injury and you need to do a job you tend to plan it out better you tend to use your, your brain um, and I think if the more you use your brain for any job the easier the job will be um, obviously that comes hand in hand with experience the more experience you have the better you'll be like, a, like I'm always saying that this channel is designed to help apprentices. Well, that, that's that's one of the main aims. And designed to sort of feel out tools and see what people bounce tools about with each other. See what you think about certain tools and how I get on with certain tools. Um, so it's definitely designed to help the plaster and trade. Um, obviously I'm trying to bring in a few wee hobbies of mine into it as well. Uh, metal detecting being one of them being the big one at the minute, uh, which I haven't had very much time to do at all recently, um, as this contract's taken up a lot of my time, um, which I'm still on, which is good as well. Um, so, don't know where it's going to lead me to with my plastering. Uh, as long longer I can stay at it, the better, probably, really, um, to get me by in life, but obviously, It'll be less smaller jobs, but I'll still always be here able to, to do my wee hard to videos and stuff on smaller jobs. But like I said, yeah, it's, um, the girls on, on the channel, they do tend to they do comment. There's, there's one now. Hey, Sandy. Um, so... Obviously, they they actually I know that it's it's a, it's a lesser percent, but the girls actually comments wise comment just as much as the fellas. <laughs> so, but 
um, they do contribute to the channel that way. Um, a lot of the guys tend to sort of maybe be a bit quieter and stuff. Um, but like I said, the, the, the girls on the channel, like, like Sandy, um, do do a lot of work around their own house. Um, there's no no machine. She actually has made a couple of DIY videos and stuff. Um, one particular fixing up her lawnmower and how she drains the oil and stuff out. Actually, which shows you that's something I couldn't do. I would probably just throw the lawnmower in the shed. I wouldn't go as far to try and prepare for the the fall and spring. I would end up just if I probably did go down and things. Me being a plaster, um, when I come to bolts and screws, sometimes I'm a bit rough. And always tend to find I destroy, I completely destroy the head of the bolt or the screw, and it's not much use after that. Where I'm used to, when I plaster board, if the screw gets wrong or sort of breaks, I can hammer it on in and make everything look good and make sure it's well solid. It's even the plaster board, I can, I can work with plaster board that's not as tidy. So definitely, and she came up with a, a very good. Uh, thing for cleaning out your your leaves out of your gutters, which was was taping PVC pipes together, um, to save yourself going up ladders. Um, so, you know that's what women can definitely use their brain as well as their brawn, just as good as men. Um, yes, Sandy, I'll, I'll share it um, to your Facebook after, no problem. Um, you can share it yourself as well, I'm sure. Um, but what video do you want me to share or just share the, the channel on your Facebook? That way. But... Um, Yeah, so we'll do Sunday no clothes. Um so but yeah, so sort of just 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 a, a chat about people's thoughts on them questions. Like, do you think you know um, something cement tend to see a, more more of the channels that do BS around skimming? But do you guys does everybody think that skimming's later than something cement work? Or again, is it down to your preparation? Um, is it down to how many people on the job particular um, that way sort of just bounce some thoughts about um, again as well might have to make another video on wet dash mixes I did live stream on it and I know Andrew himself was given given in his mixes um, a couple other plasters were I think they added in their mixes as well of what, what way they do their wet dash and stuff so, might have to do another one again. Getting a lot of questions still on how I go about my mixes and stuff. Obviously, in the future, I have a few jobs coming up where I will be doing wet dash. So, I'll obviously have that uploaded with as much detail as I can get. Obviously, when you're doing these videos and you're doing the vo voiceovers, I find it hard to keep the detail in. Um, get all the detail in by the end of the video and then sometimes you, you sort of forget to add bits and pieces in um, so it's just one of them things sometimes you end up having to have a few videos for it that way but um, so Sa Sandy's saying that she doesn't plaster but she gets drunk basically gets plastered but um, hopefully there's not too much Alcohol advertisements going on this video now, but yeah.
But yeah, just in the background, it's just sort of thought I'd put in a large job. Uh, just sort of just the, the backdrop is a job I will actually put in the description um, what this these videos were these were horse stable job five well was it five years ago kind of been that long ago um, not sure how long ago it was maybe only been three years ago don't know it's, a, it's in the channel anyway whenever I uploaded it, but I think the job may have been done previous to when it was uploaded. Um, that's why it's very blurry. I think it was actually a BlackBerry phone that recorded this. Um, the light, you can see the light coming in there. It doesn't really focus very good. Yeah, this job was a killer. Um, definitely challenging, big job. The scaffold we were using was great. Um, so getting up and down was tricky. The groundwork, you can see the mess on the ground there. This is it all plastered out here anyway. But yeah, there was a lot of work, detail put into the job for horses. I'm going to be very happy horses living in this, as you can see. Thanks, Sandy. But um, yeah, the scenes were bald and skinned and the walls were all scratched and then rubbed up. Everything was hand mixed as well. Um, probably made have been easier with tub mortar, but I prefer my mixes to be um, hand mixed for jobs like this. Um, no, sadly, the stilts would never... Might, well, there probably is stilts that would get you up as high as that scene, but my stilts would never reach that high <laughs> and I'm glad and the floor wouldn't have been suitable it would have been nice if the floor was concreted but it's just all stones um, so it wasn't wasn't really great that way from, from even just walking on foot was was hard um, Never mind up on stilts. When you're using the stilts, you have to make sure the floor is nice and smooth and tidy. One of the last jobs I did on stilts, um, the floor was concreted and it was a poor concrete job and it was very lumpy and bumpy. So it wasn't easy to walk on. It felt like you could trip or slip on it any time. Um, you were also, because a bit like that, there was a very high scene. It wasn't nowhere near as high as that, but I was full stretch. You don't really want to be stretching on heights. Um, definitely when you watch my how to get on stilts video I'm trying to sort of recommend push people to make sure the floor is clean and tidy and um, just to be safe on the stilts so definitely that was a, a scaffold job with planks and stuff same as the outside here you can see the planks still left there it was trestles and planks to get up top yeah them stone at the front sunny uh, I think it was the stones you were talking about the stone work at the front um, there was a wee stone mason an older man um, very artistic and um, uh, I think he also did a brilliant job on that now I think it ties in well to the, the door also in the house I don't think you see much of the house but this is just the stables behind the house um, ties in real well to that house as well because it has some stone work on it as well but that stone mason also did you can see the MV retain walls, they'll always have a bit of moisture travelling through them. Because um, you're, especially, you're not plastering as much on the other side and the moisture can get through along, along the bottom. Believe it or not, every mix here and then walls were done with exterior PVA and SBR. Um, not all walls, just the, the support walls to try and make things really, really strong. Yes, yeah, I think stonemasons aren't the cheapest to get. Sandy's just gets people think I'm just waffling on. Um, obviously, if you're watching this stream later on, and you can see all the chat up in the corner, but um, yeah, um, stonemasons. I'm not sure what the charge. I don't think that guy was was charging big big money, but he was taking his time. 
so they need time to do the job right um, make it look really nice um, it does look good but yeah I would love I, my my dream house would be stone on the outside um, on this contract believe it or not um, I kind of get in the God, can't really say too much, but I'm getting a really, really artistic set of plastering. Let's just put it that way. Very, very artistic set of plastering. And I've been contemplating in my own mind, if I ever get my dream house built, would I maybe plaster it to look like stone? Um, well, obviously with, with a type of sand cement. Um, but... Well, we'll definitely have to have a wee think about it. Maybe a wee practice on a couple of walls and stuff. See what, what kind of style I can get. I've seen a couple. A friend of mine at work show me. His mate does very, very special work. He carves stone out and stuff on people's houses where it's all just plaster. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, his looks, like on paper, it looks fantastic. Um, where if I was doing it, I would probably do. I've seen one of the pictures very similar. It was a chimney top he did in plaster or salt and cement. And the kind of stone I like is like a it's like a dry stone where there's no mortar in it. And one of his he sort of cut the mortar away in deep, so you couldn't see it. You couldn't actually see the the, the mortar behind. Which to me, if you're going to plaster stone, well, plaster a wall to look like stone, so. Um, it would be very difficult to get the motors. You know, it, it can be easy in one case, but it'll be difficult in all other ways. So it will be. Uh, but on that note as well, like I was saying, uh, the future videos that I have planned and made, some are gonna be we sort of art artsy sort of type of plastering jobs, and um, one that I think all of yours are gonna really appreciate. And obviously some other viewers will, will enjoy just watching them because I think they'll be very watchable, very enjoyable to watch that way. But I'm not sure, Sammy, if you're getting, you're the one that's sort of messaging that much, I'm not sure if you're getting the live stream very, very crystal clear because it's skipping on my screen here. So I we'll still have to, obviously I'm still new at live streaming, still probably... Well, I can't really say I'm that new to YouTube anymore, but live streaming, I'm still getting the gist of how it works and stuff. So I don't know if it's jumping about live here or not. So if you, you're hearing me, let me know. Again, yeah, that's kind of an artsy job there. There's going to be radiators and maybe alcoves there in the background. And like, like respect to the question, can women plaster? Plastering's been made easier now, in my opinion, than it was years ago. And um, well, in, in some ways, it obviously the prices people seem to have to do a lot of work um, to make their wages. I think that's changing slowly but surely. I think people are realizing that they're worth a lot more than what they have been placed in their jobs at. So I think that is changing and will change. I think you'll find plasters won't be as cheap as they once were. And I'll see you later Sunday. Thanks, thanks for the support and watching. Um, so I think the way it's been made easier though at the same time has been the tools. I think there's a lot of tools out now and that's hard, sadly that's actually how I was getting to the ceiling there because um, there wasn't stilts years ago. Everybody had to plank all the jobs which was a, a hand bringing scaffold, trestles, planks and um, people called planks boards bringing them in and setting up before they even got plastered. Um, also, there's, there's speed skims, there's bachelors, there's super flexes, there's all different sort of rules, edges, um, 
there's different plasters now than there wasn't there seems to be more option of plaster there's products retardants you can use in your plaster and your cements that will slow down they will slow down your your mixes give you more time extra time and um, i think there's actually one now that'll speed up your mixes so if you're doing a patch job will help so i think there's more options years ago there wasn't beads people had to do there wasn't self adhesive scrim you know so you know, i've actually used the, the non-sticky scrim um uh, not that when i started there wasn't self adhesive scrim there was but there was also still the non-sticky stuff which for me was like green it was a green roll other people say it's different at the minute i'm using basically canvas and scrim as well um so i'm using basically i'm using what people would have used years ago and cutting it into the sizes that i need um, but again don't want to get into that too much I'll, I'll leave that for a while and try and get some some nice wee videos up on the types of skills that i'm learning and it's good good that i'm still learning and uh, learning new things i can maybe bring them into the trade and obviously bring it into my youtube channel as well so and um, i do say that you'll learn every day and work um, which i think you definitely do you'll always learn something new whether it's even to do with plaster or not So, I think I'll, I'll cut the video there, guys. Um, so, basically, if anybody sort of wants to drop in what, what they, their thoughts are and stuff, they're more than welcome to. But, again, um, everybody has their own opinions and stuff, so I'll try and respect that anyway. And thanks for watching, guys.